we're in the attic. This is a ladder right here, my ladder right here. A little access, 24 inches. This is insufficient for the indoor air handle. We come up here, we see that we've got radiant panels for the roof covering. And at one time this was wood shingle roof. Those are lath, that's lath. So we have a radiant panel always B over lath. Um, coming along here, we've got loose fill fiberglass insulation for the floors of the attic, and that insulation looks like it's about three inches. It's pitiful. See all the debris in it? See all the debris? That's combustible. All that should have been cleaned out. I don't see any depth markers. We're missing something. We have bat insulation, about four inches of bat right here on the walls, and uh, we're missing some bat insulation right there. Come on along. We don't get to see a lot in this attic. Come on along here. You see uh, across the way, we, we do not have soffit baffles. In fact, I'm, I'm not sure we have soffits. I haven't really done the exterior yet. As, um, you have seen the exterior video by. No, you won't. <laughs> it's the attic. Okay. Coming along here, and then a lot of this bat has been just removed. We're just missing big sections of insulation. All this insulation, in my opinion, see how dirty it is? It's compromised. So all this insulation, see those wires that are bundled like that? I don't do derating, but when you bundle a bunch of wires like that coming from the electric service panel, because that's over the garage, um, that should have been calculated. Those calculations are beyond the scope of this inspection. But anyway, we're talking about the attic. We're talking about this, all this insulation. It's dirty. It's compromised. I would recommend redoing it. Not adding. Not adding. I might add. I'm a hypocrite. I'd recommend redoing it, cleaning it all out with fresh insulation. You know what you have. That's just what I think. 